my pal Stoney LaRue is right in the middle of writing and working on his new studio album. Now that kind of news has Texas Red Dirt music fans from all over really happy, including me. When that sun come up, you're going to find me solid gone. I spent some time in Rio Grande Valley. I, I was born around Corpus Christi, but then I moved in with my grandparents when I was five, and my, a couple of my brothers. And uh, we lived down there for, you know, a short time. But I, just, I, I remember, you know, little bits and pieces. Uh, uh, always music was involved, you know, and, and wine. <laughs> so we moved to Southeast Oklahoma where my granddad built his uh, retirement house or whatever. The musical chops, it came from the stuff that I listened to back then, and that was, you know, in the 80s and that was Top 40 Country Radio. And that was still Haggard and Johnny Paycheck and, you know, Willie and Waylon and all those guys. I didn't really get musically encompassed in different kinds of music until I, I was on my own. I moved out on my own when I was 15 and a half. And, uh, you know, and then I started hanging around different styles and classes of people. And I was living in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And that's where I met Cody and Jason. And I, you know, I was coming in with a starch shirt, and cowboy boots, and a cowboy hat, you know, pretty straight-laced farm kid, and listening to these cool guys sing cool songs, and I was so happy for that, for those friends and that time, and it was just so hot, you know, still water in the whole scene. But then, you know, we all, we all kind of grew up with our bands and moved down here, and. I didn't really have a band, but I knew some other guys that had a band from Oklahoma that wanted to do the same kind of music that I was doing, red dirt music, you know. And so that was a big part of my life, and it still is, and that's kind of still what I'm doing. And Texas has been really awesome. You know, it's, it's fed my kids and fed me for a lot of years. I've got five songs down on the new, uh, in the new album uh, that Frank's producing, and uh, I've got the other five written. I'm needing some me. Acting a fool, trying to impress you. Oh, it's time for summer's time. The mindset is, you know, it's just like you don't want to, you don't want to force anything. I don't anticipate trying to uh, connect myself with the, the fruit of what's happening as opposed to the work that goes into to making it happen. And that's the important part about being creative is constantly, you know, I forget the author that said this, but he said, uh, you know, I only write whenever the uh, creative spark hits me. And it just happens to hit me every morning at nine o'clock. You know, so it's just kind of consistencies with uh, your own art and your own occupation. It was in all sunny days, picking through your memories. The rain came down and you covered me in velvet. Oh, you covered me in velvet. Well, I'm pretty excited. You know, I find a lot of solace in knowing that everything happens when it's right when it's supposed to. You know, you don't even have to think about clog your mind with any dark imaginings where, you know, most fear and anxiety comes from. Just be happy with the now and that's when it's supposed to happen and then it seems to happen right. I'm so blessed and so glad that it turned out the way it did. I say turned out, not like it's nearing an end by any means, but like thus far, wow, you know? There's so much that has happened in 10 years. Keep it here, folks. We'll have Texas artists talking about one of their biggest songwriting heroes, Robert Earl King.